from 2009 to 2015, I was living with my family in Israel. And when I got back, we had no money. I was speaking to a friend of mine, and he suggested, why don't you start a funkadelic style, John Zorn style, talking heads style, Yiddish big band. <laughs> <laughs> so klezmer music is, is music that, that came out of the shtetl, which were the, the, the Jewish prescribed ghettos of Eastern Europe before the 19th century. With anything new, Jews always drink a l'chaim, so we say l'chaim. L'chaim. <laughs> it's uh, described by one author as laughter through the tears. So there's always something to laugh about. But there's underpinning it is a sense of yearning and what sadness. Is the new waltz and what use is, is, is anything if she doesn't love me back? The, the reason why Yid is so big is not necessarily because I thought we've got to have a 25 piece band, it'll be really economically viable. It was just uh, I asked one friend and then I ran into another friend and I thought, oh, would you like, I'm starting this new band. We go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I knew it, it had just ballooned into this um, fantastic, chaotic, but ordered mess. <laughs> There are a number of modular components within this this Yiddish mama ship. So there's a, a klezmer group, a big band, a rhythm section, a funky sort of rhythm section. There's an electronic dance music component. They do beats, they do samples, they do weird stuff. I like the idea of total music, that everyone who's in, in, everyone who's in this band can play every part. Free jazz is essentially just playing anything without necessarily referencing anything else and creating a, a vital and dynamic collage of whatever's going on around you. When we play with that, we're hoping to create uh, something that is just meaningful and beautiful. So that might be occasionally calling for chaos, but it also might occasionally call for an ambient texture.
It might call, occasionally call for some theatrical thing which has little to, less to do with music and more to do with a gesture that will make people laugh or cry or be scared or whatever. <laughs> And they, they, they begin a process, and that process might be these people play a riff, these people play a, one person plays a solo, these people play a riff together. We, we change grooves, everyone drop out. Someone goes out for a nice night out and they go to a Yid concert. Uh, it's not going to be like you sit in the club and you just you have a nice drink. You're either going to get up and dance or you're going to be freaked out. Within each song is this it's an epic journey that includes Most types of music that Western music has to offer these days con condensed into one little, one huge bite-sized chunk, all with the smell of garlic. Yeah. <laughs>